Oh, I forgot to put the camera microphone where it belongs. All right, well, welcome back. So I was gonna build um, a gobbledygook, a uh, mining station with coal and energy up north, and then bring it back down. So let me kind of load up for that mission. Here, here you can have the iron. So I'm gonna need 40 of these steam engines. That's 320 gears. Um, 40 steam engines is 200 pipes. Build the pipes over here. Oh, let's take them all. And yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Actually, I need 80 of them, don't I? No, well, 5, 10, 15, 20. Boilers. Let's build 20 more of those. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, 40 of these. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Need some more iron plates, too. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. We got plenty of belts. I just need big power poles now. Where did I put them? I'll take them all. And then mining drills. I've got plenty of mining drills. I need 120. Splitters, underground belts, pumps. No, that's too many. Oh, well. Ah, oh, water fill. I'm gonna grab some water fill. <clears throat> Should have taken the car with me. Let's go get the car. Ah, stuck. I love it. My factory is building. Here, here's my car. Right, let's go over here to my water fill factory through the forest. Oh, that's a rock. It's hard to see at night. For those of you wondering, this is how we drive in Texas. We just plow through the trees and rocks. You know, I'll be honest, though. Uh, um, oh, that's a lot of water fill. I don't need that many. Um... One of the weird things in Texas is every lawn is a parking lot. So if you run out of driveway space, just park on the grass and like people don't even think twice about it. Uh, the other thing is that if you're in a parking lot and like there's not a lot of cars parked, uh, that doesn't matter. They'll just park anywhere they want. Like we put our food trailer out um, at a gas station um, and <laughs> People just kind of pull up to the food trailer, just, you know, they're not blocking anybody. It's not, they're not being rude. It's just uh, trees. I need grenades. Uh, they're just, you know, parking. It's not a big deal. It's quite a bit different than what I'm used to from the Pacific Northwest, though, because you don't drive on the grass. That's very rude to drive on somebody's lawn. <laughs> it would be very, very rude to do that. So I have to tell people when they come to visit my house, I'm like, yeah, if there's not a lot of parking space in the driveway, just park on the lawn. And and the reason why is because um, if it's not like in the muddy, wet season um, and you park on the lawn, it doesn't really damage anything, you know. And the other thing is like the grass, at least in the rural part of Texas here, people just don't care about it their lawns and I you know I took pretty good care of my lawn up in the Pacific Northwest I was pretty proud of my lawn to be honest and uh but you know down here it's just they don't care it's not because you they don't want to care they don't want to have a nice lawn it's just it's really hard and it takes a lot of money to keep your lawn green okay 15 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 that's good enough yeah, it's 15. So I just found it kind of, you know, amusing. 
so technically I'm part of an HOA, but the HOA doesn't have any real legal authority because they didn't build it right. <coughs> and uh, <clears throat> uh, I had, my grass was a little bit long. Now I, I have cows, right? So I'm like, you know, I don't like short grass. It doesn't look good to me. You know, having long grass is important. And so I had long grass and my grass, was, my lawn was green. Everybody else's lawn was dead. But my lawn was green. It was in the middle of the drought. I did not water my lawn. And oh, I needed more medium power poles. This will probably be enough. Eh, it'll be enough. Anyway, so my lawn was green uh, with long grass. And one of my neighbors decided to be helpful and they mowed my lawn and the grass died. They mowed it too short. It's a warm season grass. And if you cut it uh, below a certain length, it just dies. So they killed my lawn. I was not happy. I'm still waiting for it to grow back. Let's build some landfill to fill that in. Okay, let's. Uh, where are we gonna build? The power. Obviously, build it next to the lake. But that's, you know, to me, that's like pretty obvious. I'm gonna do this. Let's just clear out this whole area here. Okay, so um, I want to build it in line with the, uh, you know, I never did build a blueprint for these things. Did I get a lot of pipes? I have 88 pipes. That should be plenty. Four, six. Oh, nope. Eight. Ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. What was I going with the lawn stuff? Oh, yeah, they killed my grass. That was last year, and it hasn't come back yet. <clears throat> this is like last July. You know, we're in the middle of a drought. They cut my grass. I was the only person with the green lawn in the entire neighborhood. I was sad. Uh, stupid trees. Anyway, that's the one thing that kind of irked me. Another thing that's really weird, and I I still, to this day, it, it just kind of freaks me out every time somebody does it, is, um, oh, I can build, I don't have a lot of copper plates, but I can build these. So if somebody stops you, a random stranger stops you, and they say, hi, how are you doing? You say, oh, I'm doing fine, you know. Then they'll tell their life story to you, right? <laughs> to me, it's just like, what? Like, I don't know you. You don't know me. Why are you treating me like we're best friends? And that's just weird. I don't know. It's it's the weirdest thing that – it, is it a southern thing? I'm pretty sure it is, you know. And uh, I can do landmines because why not? Um, but <clears throat> by comparison, like from where I'm from in the Pacific Northwest, uh, we must seem absolutely cold and cruel because like, we really don't, um, what's the right word to put it? It's not that we don't care, but we, we respect each other's, we, we respect each other's boundaries, I guess is the right way to put it. You know, let's actually move that. Let's make a blueprint. I, I'm surprised I haven't made a blueprint of this yet. And to, to like start talking to a random stranger like you're a best friend to us, to me, is just it's just weird. Um, yeah, create a blueprint. Let's go to the blueprint book. Uh, no, there it is. Right click on that. No. Oh, I have to press B. That's right. You take this and go B. 
Oh, I already have it. Duh. Anyway, um, I've tried really hard to um, engage in conversation with people, even though it kind of it's kind of weird and it freaks me out. Um, but I've tried, and I think I have to move this all by the way, so I'm going to delete it. I think I've been successful um, more often than not. Um, one of the things about living in Korea is that people were exceptionally honest, like brutally and rudely honest. And I just got used to it. It, it was kind of charming, actually, how uh, ridiculously honest people in Korea were. Like, they, they'd look at me and they'd say, oh, you're tall, right? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they'd say, you're tall, you're tall. And then um, <coughs> they'd say in Korean, you're an American, you're an American. Like, yeah, there, there's no, uh, that's not news to me, you know. But they just, they had to tell me. So, no, no, B, I gotta press the B button. Pull out the blueprint. And then go. Let's just give a little bit of space. I think that's good. Okay. And um, here in Texas, it, it's a little bit the same. Um, not quite exactly the same, but... Um, Similar, I guess, is the right way to put it. Let's get this started. Oh, they need water. That's right. I was like, what's happening? It's not It's not working. Okay, and I'll put a pump in. And then I'll do landfill. You know, I, I kind of, I'll be honest, I kind of like it. I, I prefer it this way. So you know, I still have it. People are entirely too friendly. And to me, that's not a fault. That's, that's pleasant. So I kind of prefer it. Oh, uh, no, I need some water room, don't I? Okay, water fill. And then pump. And landfill. Pump. I'm going to move all my power up here, by the way. Okay. Okay, did I not make enough? I thought I made enough for two. I guess I didn't. Uh. Huh. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is run this power down to... Um, so yeah, Texans are super friendly. And not, not in a bad way. Um, it's, it's charming. I love it. I'm going to go back to the Pacific Northwest and meet my old friends and say, man, you guys are really rude. You know? I bought a cow. Um, not, not the kind of cow you take care of, but a cow that's hanging from a meat locker. And, um, I bought two, actually. Last year I bought one. It was, uh, it wasn't as expensive as you think it would be. That That's the thing that kind of surprises me is my neighbor, <coughs> he raises cows. And um, I have half of mine just to walk. Uh, I raise cows too, but he raises cows to, um, you know, he brings a steer up and then he harvests them. And, uh, you know, let's just stop here. Uh, what can we research? Let's just research everything we can. No, no, I'm going to research everything we can. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right, I'm going to get out of the vehicle. Harvest it. Just walk. We're just going to walk back. Uh, so, took it to the meat locker. And uh, uh, it's being cut up as we speak. 
So the last one I bought um, was so ridiculously good. Um, I've never seen such fantastic uh, marbling. And the meat was, oh man, now like when I buy store-bought steak, I can taste the feedlot, you know. Because he raises his cows like on his land. Uh, he feeds them, obviously you have to. I can talk at length about why you have to feed cows, especially here in the south. But is this pollution? What is that? I don't know. Anyway, but uh, it was so good. Um, and now, so we've been waiting. We, we ate half the cow. Like It was supposed to last six months. It lasted us three months. And so we've been waiting for about three months to get another one. And I called them up even. I said, hey, I need another cow. He's like, you got to wait. You know, it takes a while to raise them. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So what do I do with all this wood? I don't have anything to do with all that wood. Anyway, I want to harvest these guys here. And I worry. Here, let's do this. I put the wood in there. Okay. So let's just let's just tear it down. Let's just do it. Just bite the bullet and do it. I'm going to go up north and then put it back up there. I imagine I'm filling up with coal. How do I get fish? I don't need fish. All right. All right. Tear all that down. Here's my original spaceship. So we bought two cows. They're hanging in the meat locker right now. And we're going to eat it all. Look at all that coal. All right, I'm going to bring that coal up there, actually. Um, I don't need the wood. Here, let's build some landfill. <coughs> Excuse me. Where is the... There it is. We don't need this anymore. So, uh, yeah, I bought a cow. Um, I have... Let's see, I have about 30... 29 cows and calves. About half of those are calves. And I'm going to keep the heifers. Those are the female ones. Uh, expand my herd a little bit. And then I'm going to take the steer. Well, no, they're, they're bulls. I haven't cut them yet. And I'm going to sell them. And I don't know. There's a place I can sell them locally, the sale barn. And if I go through a program, then uh, the you can get a pretty good price for them. Um, but I'm thinking of selling them to my neighbor that sells the cows back to me and just telling him, you know, if, if he thinks they're good cows, you know, there we go. We're building, we're building. Okay. So I do want to have a chest here with some coal in it, just in case we run out of energy and they don't have any coal. Okay. Uh, yeah, what's going on? Is this too big? This is, oh, this is what I did. I made it too big. Here. I miscalculated. That's why I didn't have enough stuff. Actually, I need to have this guy here. And this guy here. Cut off that, cut off that. Cut off that. Oh, one more. I made it too long. It's only supposed to be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's supposed to be twenty long, not forty. Now I have a bad blueprint. Yeah, this one's wrong. Uh, right click to open. I'm gonna delete that. 
<clears throat> that's the correct one. Then I have... I can build another one. Let's build another one right now. So B for blueprint. Yeah, that's a lot of coal. Now I do need the water fill. Oh well. <coughs> Excuse me, if I do run out of coal, I know where to go. I have 39 of these guys, huh? I can probably calculate exactly how many of these I need. Like if it was running at peak performance. So that I don't waste any whatever's but I'm not interested in that. Just research all the red and green. Actually, I wanted to get to um, blue belts. And then... Yeah, I need to get to blue belts. How come this one has it? Oh, it has wood. Probably because I built it on wood. Huh. I'm going to try something out. No, that didn't work. How far can I get? I only have eight. That's it. <laughs> Need to walk all the way around. Car time. Yeah, uh, a couple of years ago, um, beef was pretty expensive, but cows were not, which doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why? How could it be that beef is expensive but cows aren't? And what I what I think it is is that like if you go to Costco or you know Walmart to buy your meat, this is so annoying. Um, they had contracts to buy a certain amount of cows from cattle ranchers and people weren't buying enough of the meat and so they needed to recoup the costs and so they raised the price on what they were selling because they were selling less that's what I think happened the reality was there's was plenty of cows out there the cows could be had for a good price but since Walmart and Costco were buying them from private <coughs> they were buying it from the market so they were paying um, because, you know, demand had decreased. Is, that's my guess, you know. And so in the end, you know, cattle ranchers got screwed again. So, of course, the old joke is the way to make a, a small fortune with cattle is to start with a large fortune. So. Which, I'll be honest, um... So I've been doing regenerative agriculture. That's like where um, rotational grazing, I don't use any fertilizer. Um, I keep the cows on the land all the time. Like I never bring them into a barn. I don't have a barn. Um, and by doing that, it's supposed to restore the soil health and it'll grow like it used to. Back in the day, like in the 1850s, I'm told that people kept about two cows per acre. But nowadays, you can't do more than uh, uh, whew, rock. You can't do more than uh, one cow per two acres. Right? That's if you're, you know, fertilizing and everything. And the reason why they could do that was because the ground was so fertile. But nowadays, people have been overgrazing, and they've been assaulting their fields with uh, 
chemicals, uh, nitrogen in particular, uh, yeah, it makes it so the grass grows, but it also increases the acidity of the soil. It lowers the pH. And by... Oop, yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want to do. By lowering the pH of the soil... Oh, I can't repair unless I get out, huh? By lowering the pH of the soil, um, the other plants that would normally grow to restore nitrogen to the soil can't grow. And so you're left with uh, a predicament. Um, and so, so far... Cattle ranching has been really good to me. I, I don't know that I've made a net profit. Like I haven't bought, but the cows haven't bought the land, but on a per unit cost, they absolutely have made money for me. So I need landfill. I need some stone. Um, what I've bought the cows for, what I've lost, and then what I've sold, I believe... Um... No, I still have the cows, so you got to count that I still have them. But what what I've lost in terms of death, and what I've sold in terms of calves, I've definitely made money. So, um, is it enough to pay the mortgage for the land? Mm, not quite, not yet, at least. But uh, the land itself, uh, since I bought it, has increased in value. So, you know, the land is making money for me too. <laughs> so, it's just one of those weird things. Um, and last year the hay prices were ridiculous, so I just didn't buy hay. I've been feeding my cows when they when the grass wasn't enough for them. So oh, I can't go that way. Stop. Back up. I go forward. Anyway, let's see what the time is. I need to get to the field. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to cut it short here. Have a great day. Bye bye.